Assalamualaikum students. I hope you all are good. Students, our today's topic is presentation of data. As I have explained you in my previous lecture that we can represent the data in two different ways. The first one is frequency distribution and the second one is graphical method. In today's lecture, we are going to learn what is the frequency distribution. What is frequency distribution? Students, a frequency distribution is a table that shows the arrangement of data according to magnitude or size, either individually or in groups, with their corresponding number of observations. Okay, students, under data can be organized into three different ways. The first one is data array. In data array, simply the data is arranged into ascending order. As you have given the example, ungrouped data consists of few observations and the arrangement of the data by data array is 20, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, as 24 comes two times, so 24, 24, 25, 28, 30, 32 and 35. Okay, students, now the second method is known as the frequency array. In frequency array, it organizes the data in tabular form and shows the individual corresponding frequency. For example, this is the data. And how do you convert the data into frequency array? You just write the observation that is 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, and 24. And then... You just observe that 18 comes 3 times in the data, so the corresponding frequency is 3. Same as 19 comes 2 times in the data, so the corresponding frequency is 2. 20 comes 1 time, 22 comes 2 times, 23 comes 1 time, and 24 comes 3 times in the data. How to convert the ungrouped data into group data? Students, there are three steps involved. The first one is to find out the range of the data that is calculated by using the formula maximum observation minus minimum observation. The second step is to find out the number of classes that is represented by k which is equal to 1 plus 3.3 log n. Here, n is the number of observation in the data. The last step is to find out the width of the class interval, which is represented by a small h and it is equal to r divided by k. So, student, this is the first question. Construct the frequency distribution by using all appropriate steps for this data. Okay, this is the data and the first step is to find out the range. Students, you know that the formula of range is maximum value minus minimum value. If you have observed in the data, I have already highlighted the maximum and the minimum values. So, the maximum value is 55 minus 26. The answer is 29. So, the first step range equals to 29. Okay, students, now find step number two, that is number of classes. Number of classes is represented by k and the formula to calculate the value of k is 1 plus 3.3 log n. The value of n means total number of observation given in the data. In this question, capital N equals to 25. So, you have to find out the value of k that is 1 plus 3.3 log 25 that is equals to 5.6132. Students, note down one point that the value of k must be a discrete number or a whole number because it is not possible that the number of classes is a decimal number. Number of classes must be a discrete number. So, 5.6 can be round off or can be written as 6. Okay, students, now step number 3. 
Step number three is to calculate the width of the class. And width of the class is represented by a small h. And the formula of h equals to r divided by k means range divided by number of classes as r equals to 29 and k equals to 5.6132 in this data. So h equals to 29 divided by 5.6132 then you will get 5.16 and the width of the class is round of 5. Okay, now students, this is the data region over here and the width of the class is 5 and the number of classes should be converted into 6 and the minimum observation is 26. So, the first class interval starts from the minimum value that is 26. Now, count the next fifth number that is 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. It means the first class interval will be 26 till 30 then we start from 31 31 32 33 34 35 then 36 37 38 39 and then 40 41 42 43 44 45 is the next number then 46, 47, 48, 49 and then 50 and then 51, 52, 53, 54 and 55 and we also know that the maximum observation is 55. As you can see here we have converted the complete class interval into 6 groups 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now how do we complete the tally column? Students, the first observation is written here 28. Just cut this 28 and observe where it lies, in which group it lies. It lies here in the first group, so mark one line. After that, what is the next number? That is 51. 51 lies here. Then 43. 43 lies here in this group. Then again 43. 46, 46 lies here and then 26, 26 in the first group then 43, 43 here again 43 36, 36 lies here 52, 52 lies here then 29, 29 lies here 46, 46 lies here, 42, now 42, students now 42 is the fifth number which comes in this group, whenever the fifth number comes that we make a bunch of these four groups, this complete bunch is counted as 5, now the next number is 46, 46 lies here, 52, that lies here and then so on Okay, now count all the tally marks. These are the three. So right here, three. Then this again, three. These are four, five and two, seven, three and then five. Students note down one important point. The summation F should be equals to the total number of observation. That was 25. Now count all these frequencies. 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3 and plus 5 it it is equals to 25 so this is a method to complete or transform the ungrouped data into group data now students you have question number two construct frequency distribution by using all appropriate steps for the given data 
and you have given uh, the observations now uh, moving forward how do we solve this question okay students this is the data and uh, i have already highlighted the highest and the lowest value in the data the highest value is 48 and the lower value is 25 we know that the first step is to find out the range of the data that is calculated by maximum observation minus minimum observation so 48 minus 25 the answer is 22 okay step number two is to find out the number of classes that is equals to k equals to 1 plus 3.3 log n in this data the value of n is 25 so calculate 1 plus 3.3 log 25 so the answer is 5.6132 which is nearly equals to 6. Now the third step is to find out the build of the class uh, that is 23 divided by 5.6132 and we get the value of s is 4.09 and 4.09 means it is nearly equals to 4 because after decimal it is 0 0.9 so it must be round off exactly equals to 4. Students, now this is the data for question number 2. Uh, students, as we calculated the value of H that is 4 and the number of classes K equals to 6, minimum value that is 25 and the maximum value is 48. Now, we need to construct the class interval column start from 25 and take the width of 4 so 25 26 27 and 28 so the first group is a start from 25 till 28 then 29 30 31 and 32 33 34 35 and 36 37 38 39 and then 40 41 to 44 and then 45 to 48 and the width is also equal to 4 you can observe 29 minus 25 it is equal to 4 now construct the tally column the first observation is 36 cut it down and mark 36 then 28 cut it down mark 28 here then the next observation is 47 47 lies in the last group 40 and then 44 40 lies here and 44 lies here 44 again which lies here then 39 39 lies here and then 33 33 and then again 33 33 32 32 48 48 lies in the last group 34 34 is in the third group 38 38 is here and 27 which lies in the first group 40 40 lies here and then 37 37 and then make a bunch 41 41 lies here mm, 42 38 38 is here 48 in the last group 43 here 35 in this group 37 and again 37 and then 25 in the first group so now count it uh, when we count it we get these frequencies and now summation f must be equal to 25 you can count it then it is 25 so this is the frequency distribution for question number 2